Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you are new here. My name is Natalie. I create all kinds of home and lifestyle type videos here on my channel. Today we're gonna actually be doing a home decor dupes video. So basically, I've been really inspired lately when in like Hobby Lobby and places like that where I see pieces of decor that I know are meant to look like other like designer pieces of decor. Specifically, I actually, saw something at Hobby Lobby that was a dupe for something from the new Magnolia line. Um, it was like a ceramic floral artwork. And unfortunately, I can't find it on the Hobby Lobby website. So I will insert a picture of the Magnolia one, um, but keep an eye out at your Hobby Lobby stores for this. I saw it in the like middle section where they have all the little vignettes of like table decor. Um, it was like a little wall hanging. So that's what actually inspired this video, even though I'm not including it in today's video. So since that one I couldn't actually find, um, I did it, it did get me thinking about where we could find other dupes at other stores for pieces that we love on designer websites that are maybe just a little bit out of our budgets. So the first thing I found um, was this McGee & Co. white paper mache pot. It is so, so cute. I love the little handles on it. It would be perfect to layer in with like bigger vases. Um, and I actually picked up the dupe from Hobby Lobby. The other day I saw it and it looked really high end to me. And like when I saw it in the store, um, it was $7.99 with the 50% off. Like you can always get at Hobby Lobby when they do half off of table decor. And the one from Studio McGee is $128. So definitely get the one at Hobby Lobby for a lot less. They look very similar. They both have the little handle detail, um, but I think it would definitely be worth getting the dupe instead. The dupe at Hobby Lobby is a little bit smaller. So the one from Studio McGee is eight, eight and a half by eight and a half by nine. Um, and then this one is six by seven and a half by five. So it's definitely a little bit smaller, but I mean, I think it would be worth getting the cheaper one. Um, this was the large size that was $7.99. The one that I got was smaller and I think it was $6.99 or $5.99. Next thing was a mirror. So the high end version of this mirror is from McGee Co. and it's actually not even out yet. It's coming soon, but it is this beautiful thick framed gold mirror with kind of like an arched detail on it. And it is going to be $598. And the dupe that I found was from Target and it's not quite the same frame, but it's definitely the same like shape and style and at Target It's actually from the hearth and hand line with Magnolia So it's like Magnolia is coming out with things that are similar to Studio McGee You know, we have some overlap, but we always have those, you know Lower price lines at Target to mimic their higher-end sites. So I think that's a really cool option um, but this was the one at Target is $50. So 50 compared to $598. I say we go for the more affordable. The size is slightly different. The dupe is definitely a little bit smaller at 23 inches by 20. And then the one from Street McGee is 30 by 42. So definitely a lot bigger with McGee & Co. Um, but sometimes you might not have a space that needs that big of a mirror anyway. So just keep that in mind and keep your eye out because I'm quite sure Target will continue to come out with dupes for these higher end designer mirrors and wall hangings and things like that. Next we have this really pretty white marble chain from Magnolia. And this is not something that's super different. I see this a lot of places um, and it is marble. The one from Magnolia is $32. I know that Studio McGee makes one like this for Target that is, I believe, 30-ish dollars as well. But my thought for getting the look for less would be to get this one from Hobby Lobby that is actually made with, it's wood, but it's painted white. So you definitely get a little bit of a different look than you do with the marble, but to me, it kind of does the same job. So I don't personally care for marble that much. In my home, it's a little bit, too modern i think and a little bit too it's not as like soft as like wood tones so i personally like wood tones better anyway and the links from hobby lobby are 749 when table decor is half off which is every other week versus the 32. so i would say you can just get the dupe and have that same kind of style you know style it on your coffee table your foyer table inside of a bowl on top of some coffee table books that kind of thing. It does the same look. And if you have little kids, I think the wood is a little bit safer because it's not as heavy as marble would be. 
Okay, next I have another mirror and it is from Anthropology, and it is this circular detailed mirror. I'm sure y'all have seen this everywhere. It's very popular. They make it in several different shapes and sizes. There's floor mirrors, there's arched, like kind of flat bottom arched mirrors, and then this one is a circular mirror. But I wanted to mention it because they had this beautiful dupe on Hobby Lobby for $64.99 full priced. But um, when you get, I think it was part of the spring line. So when the spring line was 40% off, you could get it at a much you know, better price. Or when wall decor is on sale, if it's part of the regular line, mirrors are included in wall decor. So you could get it for like 30, 40 bucks, which compared to the original is really, really good. Especially like if this is going in a little girl's room or a nursery or something, um, or even just a space that you don't care if it's I don't see the difference in paying a lot of money for a mirror when you could get something for cheaper. Right now it says out of stock online at Hobby Lobby, but I'm guessing that will restock and honestly it might be in stock in your Hobby Lobby store. So keep an eye out for that because I think it's a great price for a really, really pretty piece. Okay, and then a couple more things. I did want to mention this woven pendant from Pure Salt Interiors. They have a lot of woven style pendant lights, which I think is just very much part of their kind of coastal style that they have. Um, I personally don't decorate in a coastal style, but I do like the woven textures to add to a space. I think it does work in like a farmhouse style, a cottage style, um, just because we're using very natural textures. So this pendant light that they have, they have several, but this one in particular is $444 and it is 17 by about 13 inches. And the dupe is actually from Ikea. It's not exactly the same shape, but when we're talking about woven style lamps and light fixtures, I thought that it was good to mention that Ikea has some really great ones. So the one from Ikea is 13 by, mm, it's 18 by 16. So it's actually a little bit bigger than the one from Pure Salt Interiors. Um, it definitely doesn't look quite as expensive. You can tell that the weaving in it is a little bit, I don't know, cheaper looking, but I still think it looks really, really nice. And it is $70 compared to $444. I will say we have bought several light fixtures from Ikea and switched out our builder grade light fixtures for Ikea light fixtures for very affordable. The one we have in our dining room was like, I think $70. The one I put in the kitchen was like 40. Um, so they're very easy to install and very affordable. If you're looking for, you know, a pendant, a woven pendant light for, I think these look pretty in entryways, over kitchen tables, in office spaces, um, nurseries, those kind of rooms I think look really cute with a pendant like this. Get it from Ikea, why not? Especially if you're not so sure about the style, you might as well get it at a more affordable price, I think, personally. So, um, or if this is not really your style, just check out Ikea's light fixtures. I think you'll be really impressed and surprised. So last thing that we're gonna talk about, which is really exciting to me because it is actually part of my foyer renovation that I'm sharing hopefully soon. I'm waiting on one more thing to get done for that and then it will be all finished. Um, but it is actually a wallpaper dupe. So I have loved this wallpaper from Magnolia's, um, Magnolia's line for a long time. I know you can get it at Home Depot and you get, it's $47 to cover 34 square feet at Home Depot. Well, I was on Amazon and happened to see that they had a very similar pattern looking peel and stick wallpaper. And I thought, well, I wonder if it's cheaper. So I did the math and it is a little bit cheaper. It doesn't make a huge difference. So the one from Magnolia, like I said, is 46 for 34 square feet. The one, the dupe is from Amazon and it is 43 for 48.4 square feet. So it's almost the same price, but you get more square feet with it. And then they do have options to get less. So if you wanted to buy less um, paper, like you didn't need as much, you could get it for a lot cheaper. So I really love the dupe. It's got like a more deeper greenish, like eucalyptus almost color to it. Whereas the Magnolia ones are either like a gray or I think like a brighter green. So I loved this wallpaper. I use it in my entry. I'm obsessed with it. I think it looks great. It was pretty easy to apply. I did have to make some cuts to get it to line up perfectly with the pattern. I'm not sure if that's just because it's a cheap wallpaper or if that's normal with peel and stick wallpaper. 
but I did notice that Amazon carries several patterns of wallpaper that are the same as the Magnolia wallpapers, so keep that in mind. This one was from the brand Live Bore on Amazon, so um, I will link it down below, but I definitely thought it was a good, a good dupe if you're looking to wallpaper like a small space and you don't want to spend a ton, um, you're not so sure about it, and you might have to rip it off right after you put it up if you don't like it, you don't want to spend a lot of money. So I thought that was kind of a good option and wanted to share it with y'all. So that is it, you guys. That is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this little dupes video. Maybe got your brain thinking about places that you can go to find these, you know, really designer looking items for cheaper. Um, I always appreciate a good hunt and a good dupe, whether it comes to clothes, shoes, makeup, you know, home decor. I always like finding the look for less because I just don't want to spend my hard earned money on home decor and things like that. So I hope you enjoyed this style of video. I don't think I've done this before, um, but I thought it would be fun to kind of just sit down with y'all and chit chat before my big foyer reveal coming hopefully I think next week, fingers crossed. We're working on a table DIY and it's been so cold that we haven't wanted to finish it, but hopefully we're finishing that today. So anyways, I hope y'all are having a great week. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel. It would mean so much to me and I will see y'all again very soon in my next video. Bye.